Hey y'all, it's Jen with It First Inkling, and this is my Tag Tuesday video. But let's dive into this one. This is the Scallywag tag. Um, the original video is by Allie at Hardback Hoarders, and I will link her video below. She did tag me in this um, video, and I'm super excited. She created this tag in time for the Scallywag, Scallywag-a-thon. This one's pretty short. There's only seven questions. Question number one is all hands on deck. Pick your three crew members. And I'm gonna go with Nikolai Lansloff from the Grisha Chil Trilogy because he has experience with manning ships. So, you know, he's the pi He has experience being a pirate already. I need him on my team, right? Then I'm going to go with Zuzana from the uh, Smoke and Bones, Gods and Monsters, whatever that trilogy is called, um, by Lanny Taylor, because everybody needs a Zuzana. She's spunky and resourceful and ferocious. And I just can't imagine not having her on my ship. And for my final crew member, I am going to go with Emma Castares from the, I don't remember what these books are called. The books by Cassandra Clare. Her most recent ones, Lord of Shadows. I'm drawing a blank. But her, that's who I want. Because she is, one, she's a shadow hunter, so she's badass. And she doesn't have a lot of fear. She um, seems like the perfect ally to have on my ship. Number two is open waters. There's something lurking below your ship. Name a fictional creature you don't want to meet in your travels. For that, I'm going to go with the... Creatures in the Magonia series, they're like bird creatures that live in ships on the sky and they can control the weather and the elements of the earth and all kinds of stuff just with their singing. Um, and I kind of have a little bit of a phobia about birds anyway, and so I think that would be terrifying and I don't want to meet them because they could destroy my ship and that would be bad and they're birds, and I don't want them. Number three is the siren song. You hear the song tempting you with love. Name a book you didn't know you needed until you read it. For me, hands down, that is Juniper Lemon's Happiness Project by Julie Israel, and I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed at this book. Um, if you watch my wrap-up video that this was in, I believe in June or August, August wrap-up video, I get teary-eyed and I get real emotional and <laughs> it's bad. Uh, but I didn't know I needed it. I was having a lot of different feelings about the death of my sister. It had been her second year anniversary and this book deals with a sister who deals with the death of her sister. and. It just was the book I needed at the time. Number four, Parlay. Your crew has been captured. What famous villain are you thrilled and slightly scared about meeting? So I don't know if he qualifies as a villain or an anti-hero, but that would be cool. Khalid from the The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. One, I would be terrified to meet him because that would probably be, mean that I was picked to be one of the wives that he was going to kill that night. And I would be dead by the next morning. But there is just something about him that makes me want to meet him and love him and just hug all of his hurts away 
but he's a little terrifying too because you know he's going to kill you before dawn. <laughs> Number five is Davy Jones's Locker. One of your crew members has died. Name a book that provides a unique outlook on death. And tell us which one of your crew members is now dead. So I'm going to choose Nikolai Lansloff to be my crew member that dies. It's tragic and I'm gonna miss him terribly, but I can't part with Zuzana and it just doesn't seem fair to kill Emma. So, sorry. Nikolai had to go. The most unique and unusual book that I have ever read dealing with death is a book called Elsewhere. And I can't remember the name of the author, but I'll link it over here somewhere. Um, this take on death is that once you die, you go and live in Elsewhere maybe your it's kind of like your soul I guess but you're, you have a body um, but you live there and you gradually age backwards until you are an infant again and then you go and are delivered again to start life all over again it's a little reincarnation-y ish um, but it's not like you keep your memories or anything like that you're just like a vessel that just kind of continually moves in this cycle and it was weird and it was unusual and it was intriguing um, and I know that that's the same answer that Allie gave but as soon as she read this question this was the book that immediately popped into my head um, and then she also said it and I was like wow I didn't know anybody else read this book number six Yo-ho-ho, ho. you meet a fellow pirate at a pub. Recommend a pirate-related book. The only pirate-ishly related book that I can think of, there's only two that have characters that have pirates in it that I've ever read, um, and that would be the Grisha Trilogy, book two, there's some piratey type stuff in it, um, but it's not the main focus of the story at all. It's kind of a side character that you're introduced to who happens to be kind of this pirate. And then Magonia, it's kind of got a piratey theme to it, sort of, but again, it's not really the entire story, but there are definitely elements of piratey-ish themes in it. And I, I do love both of those books in, in series, duologies, trilogies, whatever you want to call, whatever they are. But So I do recommend them, but they're the only slightly piratey books that I've read. Clearly, I need you to recommend me some pirate themed books. Number seven is X Marks the Spot. You have found the treasure. What is one fictional item you would love to own? I would love to have the wish coins from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. Because how cool would it be, even just the little wish coins, where you could make a wish and turn your hair purple, or make a wish and not to not be heard if you're walking across the room, or whatever you know of course the big wishes would be cool too I mean who wouldn't love to make a wish to be able to I don't know fly or never age or whatever it is that you could wish for but that was what I would want I would want a handful a pile a bag full of these wish coins so that was my scallywag scallywag book tag tag if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you are stumbling on this video because of the scallywag theme and you're not subscribed and you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you with as part of my channel. 
Um, and I will tag some people down below that I would like to see do this tag as well. But as always, everybody is always tagged in my videos. So if you have not done this tag and you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. Until next time, bye.